Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals and here is my latest journal collection. I have made a bunch of garden botanical journals or botanical garden journals um, and they're full of colour, full of florals, uh, but they also have a slight vintage theme to them. Uh, they are embellished with some fun goodies inside, um, but very, very colourful. I did try to distinguish them by loosely uh, putting them into colour themes. So we've got a blue one, a purple one, a pink one, and a yellow one, but it's very loose <laughs> and only where possible. You know, I don't always have those colours of every different type of piece of ephemera and page, so it's just what I can do with what I've got. Um, but yeah, I wanted these to be more of like just a beautiful, colourful uh, garden collection. Uh, I cut the papers all in slightly different spots so that they have that uniqueness to them. Um, and this paper actually came from the lovely Lisa. Big thank you to Lisa. Last year she sent me a bunch of papers and book pages and different things. And one of the papers was this one here, and I just loved it. I was hoarding it for a while, and I thought I would want to use this as pages in a journal, but it's too beautiful, and so I decided to use it for the cover, for these covers. So let's have a look through. This is the purple one here. This is the yellow one, and over here, this is the pink one. And then this one is the blue one. As you can see, I didn't have enough of these blue, so it's very loosely blue themed. Um, uh, these tags come from Paper Daisy Journals at her Etsy shop. Uh, I made these out of vintage botanical book page, the same botanical book page here, and just embellished it. And love how that turned out with a tag inside a bag. <laughs> and so my coffee dyed, uh, sorry, paper coffee coffee dyed papers on the back that I sewn to these uh, botanical pictures that I cut out from magazines, and journal cards that you can write on the back of so let's do a full flip through of the blue one which is my favorite one um, and these are available in my Etsy uh, the link below to Willow Bound Journals Etsy shop is in the description box and this one though is not available this is the only one that's not available isn't that beautiful uh, because one of my beautiful patrons has already snapped this one up as they get first um, viewing of my journals therefore first access um, love this beautiful uh, envelope napkin page, pocket page. This napkin came from the lovely Susan, my kindred spirit. Beautiful book page. I got that one from an op shop and it's got all different lovely illustrations of flowers, paint chips here in each of the journals. I love these speckled or spattered <laughs> Uh, coffee dye pages they're so interesting and a vintage bird cards some note paper an envelope here that is paper clip in so a lot of the ephemera is paper clip in so that you can move it around uh, i love these pages too really really interesting lots of coffee dye pages love these pieces as well uh, another handmade tag with the same vintage botanical book page and you can write on the back of these tags as well so there's lots of Writing space, I always like to be generous with the writing space in my journals, as well as having, you know, the beautiful feature pages and embellishments and things. So I love making all of the handmade embellishments and then adding anything floral that I thought fit with the journal inside here. This I love. I was hoarding this. I was going to use this for a personal journal, uh, but I just never got around to it. So it's going in here. I'm using the things this year, using all the things and all of my last pamphlets those botanical pamphlets are now used up so that's good and the beautiful journal card here and some extra papers with that botanical theme in the back and so just do a quick flip through of these ones so this is the pink one so where possible i put pink in here gorgeous love 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 just a lovely variety of pages there's a secret garden book page in them all which again, I've only got one left now, which I hope to save for my own journaling. Uh, but finally, I've been hoarding those as well and slowly, slowly been using up all of those secret garden pages because that is a book and a movie that is very much part of my childhood that I loved. 
Um, so same type of themes in here. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this journal card. I just made a little collage with a floral piece and some washi tape. And again, some papers at the back and some stickers. Lots of fun goodies. Here's the purple one. So, love, love this. That's so pretty. <laughs> All of the florals I love. So yeah, hopefully these journals can be a special treasure for whoever may get them. Beautiful floral fair. And just such beautiful colours. I really had fun more going with different colour theme with this one in terms of like all the colours all the colours um, and I was going to just do that have them all be different colours but then I couldn't help myself and I needed to do a bit of a theme so this is the yellow one very loosely yellow thing I didn't have as many yellow things but where possible Again, this is just so beautiful. I love archways and gazebos and things like that in gardens. So pink and yellow, this one is more of a, yeah, has a bit more pink in it. Where I couldn't find yellow, I put in pink. And it fit well because the pages have some pink on them as well. But, you know, try to choose a yellow bird. <laughs> Lots of pink though in this one too. So maybe a yellow and pink one. But if you go to my Etsy, you'll see in the drop down box, you get the options for the color options. And yeah, I love this combination here too, pink and yellow. But again, lots of different colors here. Isn't that stunning? Oh my goodness, love that. Again, lots of different colors here and beautiful papers here. I've tried to put more of the yellow ones into this one. So those are the journals. Love how they turned out, very fun to make. And hope they are a delight and bring much joy to anyone who desires to have one of these journals. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in January. If you would like to become a patron in February, and the link is down below. And that is where you get access to extra videos, all my printables, all my digital kits in my Etsy. There are post tiers, mail tiers and journal tiers as well. There is a Marco Polo tier and just lots of fun stuff over there. There is also a link to all of my available courses down below in the description box. You can join those anytime for all of my Patreon and courses. They're monthly subscriptions that work just like Netflix or Spotify and you're charged on the date that you sign up and you can cancel anytime.